today I'm going to talk about trash. That's right. We're going to go through some empties of mine. I have skincare, hair care, body care, um, just a little bit of makeup. So yeah, let's get into it. First, let's do some dry shampoo because this is some of the bigger items in my little bag. Um, they're both for brunettes. Um, I prefer the ones with brunettes, but I have a lot of dry shampoo. Um, I go through it a lot. Um, so this one is my favorite, um, jug store. I love Batiste. Um, I even, I mean, they're my favorite in general. So I always go back to this one. I always have a can of this one, which I already do. Um, I have some that aren't for brunettes that I love just as much because they have really good smells. This one from Dove, um, that's for brunettes. It's pretty good. Um, this one I would say is a nine out of 10 almost a 10 out of 10. Um, this one is more like a seven out of 10. Next are these two Pacifica products. Uh, I ran out of this one first. It's a pillow and basically it's aromatherapy spray. It's for your pillow before bed. Um, you can put it on your body too. I use it for my pillow and my little eye mask before I go to sleep at night. Um, I know this is a body lotion is still available. Um, on Pacifica's website, so you can find it there. It's their Lavender Moon. It's a really beautiful scent. Uh, the body lotion, I really enjoyed it. Um, squeezed every bit of it out. This is actually the second tube, because when I saw it was not gonna be sold at um, my local Ulta, at least, um, I stocked up. So this is my last bottle, and I'm really sad about it. I squeezed everything out, so yeah. This is a makeup remover. Um, I don't buy this brand from Kroger anymore because I like to use, I don't use makeup wipes in general. I use cleansing balms. This is more for like cleaning up makeup products, swatches. My daughter uses them sometimes. Um, if I'm really lazy, I'll start the makeup removal with one of these, but um, I don't buy this brand anymore. Um, I've moved on to Neutrogena, which have plant-based wipes, which is biodegradable. Um, so I prefer that. So this I will not be buying anymore, the Kroger, and I will continue to pick up these as needed, um, yeah, from Neutrogena. This is Bosha Indigo Eye Cream. It came in a set from Costco. Um, it's still got product in it. I honestly couldn't convince myself to use it all. Oh, I guess there's very little in it at all. Um, but I use... 90% of it. I just kind of got tired of it. it. I didn't feel any results from it. It was a meh product. It's just one of those that once I had gone through over half of it, I was committed to finishing the product as much as I could. And I just kind of gave up at the end. So I wouldn't repurchase. This is Inky List uh, Beta Hydroxy Acid. Um, it's a exfoliating serum. I don't have anything really to say about it. I used it. It's not like some of my other exfoliating uh, serums that I use where I feel like it's um, cleaning my face really well. Um, it has This leaves a film. Um, I just didn't love it. I, did, I don't really have too much to say except for I just didn't love it. I didn't feel like it was really exfoliating things. I'm just not a favorite of mine. Not going to repurchase. Next is a makeup tool. It's Elf's little uh, poof for powders. It feels like a towel, which I knew that buying it, but I guess I just assumed that it would pick up powder nice and evenly, and it doesn't. Um, it's not very cushiony. I just, it didn't make the powder apply very evenly on my, underneath my eyes, and that was a big no-no for me. Um, it doesn't blend it in very well. I just felt like I was rubbing a piece of towel into my eye. Um, it wasn't fun, wasn't pleasant, so I'm just tossing it and getting rid of it. Next is two Glow Recipe products. One is their Avocado Ceramide Recovery Serum, which I'm so sad to be running out of this or run out of this. Um, this was really nice and calming on my skin. I enjoyed putting it on. It wasn't a day-to-day -day serum for me, but um, anytime I had too much sun, uh, skin irritation, um, maybe too much chemical actives going on. This is where I went and I loved it and I will repurchase it again. I have more serums to go through, but it's definitely on my want list. 
the other glow recipe product is their plum plump hyaluronic cream this moisturizer is amazing um it's so lightweight a little goes a long way it absorbs beautifully into the skin um i wear it i wore it every day i could wear it under makeup uh, there's just a lot of great things to say about it i do have a replacement for this one already um so I have, I don't have to go without, I guess this is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, um, back to hair care. Um, this is Head and Shoulders Supreme Nourish and Smooth Aragon Oil, Jehovah Oil. Um, it's just a conditioner from Head and Shoulders. I really like it. Um, I get dandruff sometimes and um, often my family members do. So this one gets used up by everybody. It really is hydrating with the two oils in it. I really like it. It's a favorite. I would definitely give it like a eight out of 10. The other hair care product is from Christopher Robin. It's their scalp scrub. Um, it was really concentrated. So um, it was a lot packed in here. It came in a Sephora hair care favorites that I had gotten. Um, really loved it. I love a hair scalp. Uh, um, I love this. I do use a lot of dry shampoo and I use curling hair products. So I just like to make sure that my scalp is nice and clean and this does the job. It's never a good sign when you have a makeup product in a Ziploc bag. Um, there's still lots and lots of product in here. This is the Sunday Riley's lip balm. Um, I can't remember if this was vanilla or beige. Um, the problem is that I would screw it down tight and eventually um, where the little threads of the plastic nozzle um, started to crack and I was no longer able to open it up without it oozing out. So what I did was I taped it and cut the bottom so I could use my lip um, brush and scoop out and use, because I really like what's in it. The formula is really nice. Um, I just, I gave up, it started leaking anyway here, even with the tape on it, and um, it just became a mess. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna be repurchasing. I don't know if the packaging has actually changed at all, so why would I want to buy something that's just gonna be faulty again? Speaking of lip balms, some of my favorites is NARS. What are these called? Oh my gosh, can I even read that? Anyway, they're lip balms. <laughs> um, this one is an orgasm. This one, I believe, is in Laguna. Yes. Um, they're wound up all the way. I've used it. There's nothing more I can get out unless I'm going to use a lip brush and, like, scoop it out. You can still see there is product in there, and I have scooped these out in previous ones before. Um, I already have a backup of this one. Their orgasm is my favorite. I already have a backup of this one and I love him. Another lip balm. This is Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Lemon. It is empty. It just smells really good. Um, I love going through these little minis. I feel like I can actually see a dent in them. Um, so I've been working my way through alternating between them. They're not my favorite lip balm. I do enjoy them. This is Keys Soul Care line. It's Alicia Keys line. Um, I picked up a couple products when it first came out. This was a comforting balm. It's just a balm you can use on anything. I did not use it on my lips. I used it for my cuticles, for my knuckles, um, my feet, my nails. I said nails. My elbows. And it seemed like a pain to kind of get out of here because it really is dense and really packed in there. So I had to get a scoop that I would use to get the product down, warm it up in my hands, and then apply it. And it worked really great. It was very hydrating. Um, I won't be repurchasing it just because I have other balms and salves that I kind of use for those sort of products. Um, so not a big fan of this one but I did use it up. It's a mini, so why not? Um, yeah, I would say it's probably like a six out of 10 for me. The last product I'm going to talk about is Karuna, um, Radiance Toner. 
this is a beautiful toner. Um, I won a giveaway from them where I was able to spend $100 on whatever I wanted, and um, I'm so glad I picked these out. I'm bummed because obviously now I've gotten the two and I've used them both, and so I've run out. Um, but I'm waiting for another sale um, that they'll have. I almost picked it up on the 4th of July sale, but it just didn't seem to work out with me at that time. Yeah, next, maybe a Black Friday sale. I'll definitely try to get some more of those because it was a very luxury feel type of toner. It has um, one of these type of pumps that you push down with your little cotton round. Um, I just really enjoyed it. It's got niacinamide and ginseng in it. Um, yeah, it's just a nice gentle toner. It just had a nice smell to it that didn't linger though. And it was just really luxurious and it was a fun step to do in my skincare routine. Thank you for sitting with me and talking trash and going through all my empties. And this was a lot of fun and I need to do more talking videos. So thank you so much for watching.